Hi, George Peterson here from Front of House. We've got a, a great issue for you this month, starting with our coverage of Wicked on Tour. Like many other outings, the roadshow of this hit Broadway musical was put on hold in mid-run last year due to COVID venue shutdowns. Now, 18 months later, it's back in action, having opened in Dallas on August 3rd. We check in with front of house engineer David Romich for the inside story and all the details. Our installation spotlight looks into the home church in Lodi, California. Sound upgrades at houses of worship are happening at a feverish pace. But what's different about this one is that Mark Sweet of Integrator Spider Ranch Productions designed an all-custom system rather than the typical off-the-shelf approach in this truly one-of-a-kind install project. In the August tech feature, David Kennedy presents five scenarios from past assignments that combine theoretical premises with down-to-earth, solid advice on optimizing performance spaces. A must-read. Our buyer's guide this month focuses on kick drum mics. The bass drum is the foundation of most live mixes, and capturing both the LF boom and the transient snap of the beater is an essential part of the sound. We present nearly 20 offerings for reproducing the bottom end in a variety of prices to fit anyone's need or budget. Speaking of kick drums, noted FOH mixer Steve LaSera offers insider techniques for taking your bass drum sound up a notch, such as tuning, dampening, the right mic, a touch of EQ, and maybe a bit of compression or gating. Try some of these on your next gig. Churches are one of the few venues where more often than not, an acoustic piano is part of the sound. Our man in the pews, John McJunkin, examines the issue of piano miking from all the angles with a collection plate of useful tips. There's a lot more in this month's issue of Front of House, whether you read it online, in print, or with our way cool, free iPad edition. But wherever you go, whatever you do, don't piss off the sound guy. <laughs>